Tell us uh, the story about your very first self storage facility mm -hmm. uh, that you got into and, um, and what lessons did you learn from that first deal? Yeah. So the, the very first facility that I got into was a, that we were sending out mailers um, to facility owners, just like we all do in real estate to, to the asset class that we're interested in. And we ran across uh, some business owners and they were getting a business of divorce. They were partners in, in a concrete business and things weren't going so well. And they wanted, they were parting ways and this facility they owned together as well. Well, they, um, as what happens, unfortunately, in divorces, uh, the other one, one side wants to hurt the other and the other one definitely wants to destroy the other one. And so that's what they were doing. And they were destroying the value of the facility in the meantime. And so what that meant is we were able to get into this uh, facility for, uh, it was, it appraised for $800,000 more than what the selling price was. And they just had to get out from under the note because those two had done such a good job of fighting each other that uh, the bank was about ready to uh, take the facility back. So I partnered, uh, I partnered up with a gentleman. We came in 50, 50 uh, cash and both on the balance sheet and excuse me, on the loan request and um, ended up moving forward on this uh, first property by taking the existing tenants and raising the rates, which they hadn't been ra raised in 10 years. Uh, we let them manage. Well, let me see. We didn't let her, we freed up her future to pursue other career opportunities and put a kiosk in place because we don't have to manage these facilities with a person on site. And then we bought the land next door and expanded and uh, built that up and leased that up as well. Um, so I sold off to my partner eventually. And that leads to, I guess the, the second part of your question, Jay, which is uh, what did I learn from this? Um, well, first of all, I, I understood the power of leveraging and bringing partners in to projects. But I also the lesson I learned is that um, I, I really want to be in that manager position. I wanted to have that control rather than 50 50. And, and it's not a control issue. It's just that, you know, once I learned about syndication and moving on to other projects that I can be the syndicator, the promoter and the person who is calling the shots and I can bring in limited partners for sometimes their balance sheets to sign on the loan as well, but mostly for the equity that is a, that is required to get into a facility. So that was probably the biggest lesson. And I also learned uh, sometimes um, you shouldn't bring people that are close to you or friends into a business uh, as well. Sometimes it doesn't always turn out well. <laughs>